My name is Kevin Hanrahan. I'm an economist with Chagas and I'm based in Athenry, County Galway. And I'm going to talk about uh, how the cattle and sheep sectors have performed this year and how they might perform next year. In 2015, cattle prices have recovered strongly uh, from where they got to in 2014. Finnish cattle prices were up almost 9%, with younger cattle prices up even stronger on average 15% and many farmers would have received prices that were significantly higher than that. And that was a recovery from a, a bad year in 2014. Costs of production on most cattle farms have been very stable. We're looking at feed costs being slightly up this year compared to last year uh, and volumes may be a little bit higher so total feed expenditure has gone up but that increased bill has been offset by lower diesel bills, lower fertilizer costs. Um, so we overall we think that costs of production are being very stable this year compared to last year. So with Higher cattle prices, uh, even assuming that farmers aren't finishing more cattle off or selling more cattle per hectare, we think that margins driven by that improved cattle price story will be stronger this year compared to last year. Up by a lot, 37% on single suckling farms, 33% cattle finishing farms. That sounds like uh, bonanza time, but you must remember that the levels of income per hectare are actually quite low, so it doesn't take an awful lot of extra euros to make a big percentage increase, but it's an increase nevertheless. Looking to next year, we think that cost of production again will remain relatively stable. We think that feed prices might come down a bit, energy prices might come down a bit, but this will be offset by increases in some other costs of production. What about the, the price outlook? The price outlook will be really determined where incomes go next year, we think. And we think for cattle farmers, that prices will actually come back from where they got to this year. We think that's going to happen because we're going to see an awful lot more beef on the European Union market. And that's really been driven by what's happening to the cow inventories in Europe and in Ireland. In Europe, we're seeing more cows, cow, the aggregate number of cows in Europe, both from the, da from the dairy and the beef herd when they're put together, have been growing for the last three years. And that's now being reflected in an extra supply of beef. People need to remember that two thirds of the beef in the European Union come from dairy cows, from the calves of the dairy cow herd. And when we see growth in that herd, that leads inevitably to growth in the beef uh, that's available to consume. Demand for beef is, is forecast to grow next year uh, due to the recovery in the Eurozone and also ongoing growth in the UK, which is our most important beef market. But that growth in demand isn't sufficient to match the growth in supply. So we're basically having to have lower prices to persuade consumers to eat more beef and to absorb that extra, extra, extra production. So we think that Finnish cattle prices will come down by about 4% next year. Younger cattle prices coming down by more, maybe 8% next year compared to this year. Now, where prices got to this year were in Ireland were, lar were really largely affected by how the euro sterling exchange rate developed. So the euro got weaker through the course of the year. What we're assuming next year is that there's no further depreciation in the euro. If it is the case, ex post, that the euro actually weakens against sterling next year like it did, anything like it did this year, that negative price outlook could be mitigated either partially or totally uh, when we look back at my forecast this time next year. But at the moment, we're forecasting a disimprovement in cattle prices, and that basically means that incomes per hectare on Irish cattle farms are expected to decline next year relative to the levels they got this year. For single suckling farms this year, importantly, and uh, next year, the Beef Data Genomics Programme will be important, particularly for those farmers that participate. Now, not all farmers with suckler cows will be in the programme, but for those that are in the programme, you're looking at an average payment per cow of 80 to 90 euro per cow. So that's the story for cattle. The story for sheep on the cost side is very, very similar. We're looking at very stable costs this year compared to last year and looking into next year. Some elements go up, some elements come down, but overall the cost of production are very stable. The sheep story does differ from the cattle one in that we haven't had a, such a, 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 a dramatic increase in lamb prices this year compared to last year. They're marginally up, um, but they're going in the right direction. Looking into next year, we think that lamb prices in 2016 will be marginally higher than they were in 2015. So three or four percent price outcome could be could be stronger than that. We expect it's a positive outlook for, for sheep for 2016.